Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jays Are Dead bringing you a video today showing you how to make a sneaker template. So let's get started. We, of course, want to start out by getting our source image. So you can see we do that by just finding something on Google and uh, copying in it. Next, we want to actually paste it to uh, Photoshop. I usually change the dimensions to fit a square so they uh, go to Instagram a little better. You don't have to crop them. Um, you'll see that I'm basically taking the uh, background and making it all one color so it's all uniform and then we merge down the um, layers so it's just one solid layer now and the whole process of this is to make layers of each individual part that you want to edit on the shoe so you'll see that I'm kind of zooming in you definitely got to zoom in to get a better idea of uh, basically, the, you know, the shoe, the, um, you know, the closer you can get, the tighter that your selections can be for your layers. And you'll see that I'm actually just mapping out each and every groove on this um, sole, which definitely takes a little bit of time. All right, after we get that whole thing lassoed, you then want to basically copy and paste it, and that's your first layer. So once you get that layer going, you just um, you know name it whatever you, you want, whatever it is. Just make sure you can identify what it actually is so when you actually go back to edit it, you're not searching around trying to find what layer it was. So next, we'll just move on to the airbag, um, which isn't too hard. You know, obviously it's on a pretty small um, oval so you just outline in that and um, you, you, you're you gonna do that to the whole shoe obviously so you um, want to make sure that you're pr pretty precise on everything um, that you do and the more that you do it the um, the better you'll become you'll start to understand how the layers work and um, you know yeah it just gets it's just a time thing you know the more time you put into it the better you'll get so again with this, you got it lassoed. You didn't want to go and copy and paste it again, and it's a whole nother layer. And then you're just gonna um, rename it. You know, this is an airbag, so um, you know you name it that, and you just move on. Next up is this um, adjustment piece um, that you actually change the uh, the fit of the shoe with. And that's the last thing. Well, no, it's not the last thing on the sole, but it's the next thing um, you got to do. So you'll see, I just try to get as close as possible to um, the sole and the actual uh, piece and just map it out. And this is basically what you do for the whole shoe. So after you've mapped out the outsole, you just keep going. It's the same thing. Basically, you're copying uh, and pasting. And each, again, each piece of the shoe is going to have its own layer. And you can be as detailed in the layers as you want as far as the individual pieces that you want layered. The more pieces you make, basically, the more customization you have for the shoe. You know, meaning um, each, you know, each piece of the shoe can be changed a different color easily by basically making a layer out of it. So now we're going to um, a pretty big portion of the shoe as well, and it's um, a main portion is the midsole. So we're basically following along, and um, you'll see how we're just tracing out the midsole, and uh, yeah. You'll see right here as I'm copying and pasting that the uh, back logo, it kind of gets raised a little bit. So then at that point, you got to um, try to zoom in as uh, close as possible. And you take your little arrow tool and you basically try to move it back um, to snap in with the layer. Because you'll see where there's a little bit of orange on it. Um, and that is basically just letting you know that your layer isn't. 100% um, flush with the rest of the um, image and um, 
I actually had to like go back and um redo this because the way I mapped out the sole, it only took um part of that back layer. Um, you'll see like I didn't include the entire back um little logo piece when I mapped out the sole, and then you got it. So that's another thing that comes with time is you'll realize that um how you map things out is it's everything um with doing this kind of stuff. Next comes one of the more important pieces on the shoe, and that is the upper. Um, usually, I try, depending on the image, um, I'll try to lasso the entire upper of the shoe, and um, it kind of helps you in many ways, but one of the main benefits is, is if you want to color the whole upper of the shoe, if you have that one entire um, upper, you can just change the color of everything instead of having to change the, the you know change the color on each individual layer and you'll see what I mean um, once you when, you know once it's finished you'll have all these layers mapped out but if you want to just if you want to manipulate just one layer you can just do it and not have to worry about all the other layers you can just um I don't even know what you would call it but you would just um, hide them basically so you don't even see them which you'll see. This is another um, example of when your layer doesn't snap to the grid um, and it kind of pastes in out of place. So right here I'm um, lassoing the um, tongue liner and you'll see where I'm doing um, when I go to paste it, it doesn't, it doesn't snap into place. So again, you're just going to want to take your arrow tool and um, move it back into place. You'll, you'll kind of see where it snaps into place like it's it's, it's a weird thing like weird to explain but you can kind of feel when it when it um snaps into place like right there it just kind of like magnetically pulls in or something magnetically i don't even think that makes any damn sense but it pulls in and um you can just sense it next up we're going to be working on the elastic um on the tongue and obviously on this shoe it's a big part of it um they don't have laces and this is kind of like a mag mag inspired shoe so the laces um you know what i mean or i'm not the laces but the uh the elastic is going to definitely want to be something that you uh highlight on the shoe um you know working on your colorways and if you see where i um basically lasso above the elastic it's because we made a full layer so anything that's in that layer, um, anything above it isn't going to matter. So that the, the gray background, it isn't going to count because the, uh, the full upper um, is, the only layer, is the only thing on that layer. So that's going to be the only thing that's actually grabbed when you go to make your layer for the elastic. And I pray that makes sense. So we're going to zip through this. Um, you can see I'm just more or less just um, making layers for everything um, on the shoe. And usually, depending on the shoe, you know, you can have a, a ton of layers. And it all depends on how much um, customization you want to actually be able to do to that specific shoe. Um, so even though, I mean, this is a... Uh, kind of a, a simple design shoe but you know you'll see where we're still going to have probably 10 layers um when it's all said and done and at this point we're pretty much done um i always tag my work so this is just me um you know i save i save my tag on there so i don't have to do it every time i'll place it you know where i want it and then um i don't even know if you would call this an easter egg but I almost always um, kind of shadow or ghost tag my shoe as well. And I learned to do that um, years ago because people will crop out my name and then, you know, my name wouldn't be anywhere else on the shoe. So now I kind of do it in two, you know, I do it um, in two different places. So 
you know, if I if I wanted to actually prove credit, you know, most people aren't even going to see that small little detail on the shoe, um, but it's there. So if you uh, going forward, if you see anything on Instagram, just take a look at the shoe, you know, that I post and see if you can find um, my name in there somewhere on the shoe hidden. Um, it's almost always there, guaranteed. And at this point, we're pretty much done. I usually always go back to um, the source image, and I'll copy and paste um, the exact name that was written on the shoe. Um, and, you know, I was looking on this damn page, and I couldn't really find it, um, or at least find, you know, what I was looking for. So I think I ended up going back and um, just... Uh, searching for it another way and maybe typing it in but you'll see but the only thing left to do now is um save it you know make sure you save the uh file as a psd a photoshop um file because if you make a mistake and save it as a jpeg um it's gonna basically erase all of those layers um and of course you can go back but you know it's just a good habit to make sure you save it um the right way